Hey guys, today we're going to remove the internals from this iconic Carolyn AC1 music PC, which will enable us to uh, upgrade it. So first we'll start by removing the cards. We'll remove the graphics card, which was a ATI Raiden 64 meg, pretty basic card. Next we'll remove the Creamware Pulsar sound card that had the DSP chips on it, the Shark ones, which were uh, which enabled you to run soft synths without using the computer CPU power. I think I might uh, try getting that going again. I think there's a new company, Sonicware, that have taken over and so they can do some new drivers for Windows 10 etc. Then we'll remove the network card and the FireWire card that we're in. Next we'll strip out some of the cables. I think that fan was a, a Zalman flower. So next we'll remove the cabling. Should probably use a pair of snips rather than a pair of scissors. So we'll strip out the old Molex power connectors from the motherboard. And then we'll remove this hard drive enclosure, which is one of the silent drive ones, which is supposed to dampen the noise of the hard drives, the mechanical hard drives. Some people did have issues with the drives overheating, but I never had any issues with it. What I noticed here is that the hard drive was blocking the air intake for the, for the case, so on the rebuild we'll, uh, we'll change that. Remove the ID, IDE cables which were for the IDE CD drive. And we'll remove the IDE CD drive and um, we'll upgrade it to a SATA one. You can see below there the SATA SSD. Remove the cables from around the CPU cooler so that I can try and remove the power supply unit. The original power supply was a 350 watt. We'll remove the switches for the power switch and the LED. Then we'll remove the fan, which will upgrade to a newer, quieter model. For the case fan, that's a rear extract that goes through a, a reducer. Remove the screws for the motherboard. The RAM's still on the motherboard, that was um, four one gig sticks. And I think the CPU in that one was a 3.2 gigahertz Pentium 4. I think it was that Intel motherboard, a Perl, D865 Perl I think. I'll give it a quick clean out. Then lastly we'll remove the SSD 
which was only 120 gigs, so we'll, uh, we'll upgrade that at the same time as well. 